they're driving it over to these fucking like whorehouses and <laughs> loading it in for you and you're slaying it, right? Well, to this and I was in particular it was it was pretty cool. What are you eating? <laughs> I try, during the show, man, I reached out and have one. Not yet. Not, not comfortable enough yet. But I'm gonna break that fourth wall at some point and get the shit out of those fries. Oh, there's a chair right there. I could join you, huh? Oh, fuck, I'm hungry. I've been on a diet for five years. No, I'm joking. Back to the story. Um, check it out. So we load in and we play this gig for 21 and up, but we thought like mad people were just gonna bum rush the place because I'm Justin fucking first and fell I'm the shit, right? Anyway, we play this show and it's for like all the, the family, the parents of the band, because nobody else showed up. The parents brought their church friends, which was good. You know? Every time I say that, people are like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with church friends? They know how to fucking do the pony. <laughs> what they do. They don't want the fuck else to do. But, um, I say a lot of bad words. I'm sorry. It was horrible on Easter yesterday. I said so many fucks. <laughs> my mom would have fucking just spanked the shit. bent my ass over right here and spanked me. Anyway, back to the story. I'm trying to focus. Uh, we were up on stage. We were giving it our best. We were rocking out to our, our parents. My parents weren't there because they had to work. My dad was a cop. And Nights. And uh, but I remember I was like giving up my best, like I was, you know, like all the shit, you know, <laughs> like trying every fucking move out because this was the beginning of my career. I was gonna do mad shit, even though like, I was just fucking doing it, throwing my fucking skills all over. Like the parents and the moms were like, ah. <laughs> Like, it was fucked up. I was like, Greg, your mommy is fucking tripping. <laughs> it was awkward, but I mean, I rolled with it, you know? I was like 15. And, uh, it was weird. But anyway. But anyway, I, I stood there, and after the show, I was like, wow, that was cool, but... I think I'm gonna go back out on stage drag and play a song that I've been working on. And he's like, of course you are, yeah, go ahead. And I was like, it's your fucking parents. So I went out there, sat down, and I played this song, right? It's fucking from my heart, all by myself. And after the song, it's dead quiet. And all the jaws were like, and I thought to myself, I just, uh, right? Like, I just changed their life, ma'am. I was like, oh, you know? I was, I seriously thought I had, like, just saved the world with one song. And so I went home that night on cloud nine, just thinking that I was the shit, right? That anything I wrote, anything I touched was just magic. Because their faces were just in awe. So I get home, I go to bed, I wake up in the morning to my dad. Get up, wake up. I'm like, what's up? He's like, what'd you do last night? I said, Dad, I changed some fucking lives last night. And it sounds like if you would have been there, your life would have been a little bit better this morning. He's like, really? You changed some lives? <laughs> Funny as fuck, right? Yeah, yeah, you changed some lives? Well, the parents from the band called, and they want to hold a parents meeting today. I'm like, fucking A, let's go, right? I'm thinking in my mind that they're gonna put all their fucking money together that they've saved for college, fuck college. They're gonna put it into the Justin Furstenfeld show, which was Last Wish. It was really Justin Furstenfeld, huh? And that's what I'm thinking. I was like, we better suit up and show up, you know? So we all loaded out of the, the house into this Pinto, 1987, like Pinto. Really, anybody know what a fucking pinto is? Yeah. It was a baller. I mean, and uh, we drove over to the River Oaks area in Houston. And uh, pulled up. It was like a, like Reservoir Dogs when we got out that motherfucker. And it was slow motion. My dad, katah! kicks in, gets out. You know, my mom gets out all Christian, like, holy Jesus. And, uh, and then I'm fucking sitting in the back. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to get out. Yep. Dead. Can you help me, motherfucker? This is hard to get out of this little car. But then I got out, I'm like, oh. <laughs> anyway, 
the way we walk up and it's big ass doors and hope that I feel the air conditioner and the AC. It's cool. I feel like, I feel like it's a fucking knife. It's my ex-wife, she's here. Um, that's what I hear every time the fucking night. I'm like, oh no! She finally did it! In public! Sorry. I pushed open the doors and I felt the AC, which stands for air conditioner, hit, hit my fucking hair. And I had like kind of long hair, you know. And, whew, it was like fucking Fabio walking that bitch. And I'm walking, we were like three deep, you know, like me, my dad, and my mom. And I'm like, what's up, daddy's here. Yo. Hey. What's <laughs> Where's this meeting taking place, motherfucker? <laughs> so we sit down in the living room. It was like a fucking nice house. I've never seen anything like this before. I know everybody's parents are there. I'm like, this is some serious shit. I'm like, Dad, watch this. And Greg's dad leans forward and he goes, I'd like to call this meeting to order. And I'm like, bitch, this is awesome. This is serious. And he said, Mr. and Mrs. Firstenfeld, we don't really know how to say this except that we're scared of your son. <laughs> very awkward for you to hear, but we no longer feel safe around him, and we don't really want our children in a band with him because of the contents of what he's saying about last night. And I'm thinking, what? I'm like, I got this, Dad. I got this. Chill, chill, chill. So my dad was like about to throw, you know? Not really, but I said, you know what, Greg's dad? Shh, 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 shh. So I quit. How's that? I flip it. Flip it. Flip it for real. He said, I quit. Bitch. And I'm going to start a little band called Blue October, and none of you guys can be in my little project. How about that? <laughs> Oh, 
arms are open wide Have a look inside It is not that I am scared to I am empty inside Hold my hand
<laughs> Go take your shit. <laughs> How did you know? You know? <laughs> G.I. Joe's a lot. Anybody here old enough to like G.I. Joe's? Woo! Woo! Oh, Even yeah. girl. Yep. I, except when I played with G.I. Joe's, it was just a tad bit different. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I would take um, Duke, the blonde headed guy. Really good looking. Blue eyes. I would take him. <laughs> and I'd take leather. But I only want you to see 
But I remember writing my first song about, like, maybe this is kind of a problem. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> I get this song requested a lot. I never play it, so I'll play it. <laughs> I thought you were like, I'm fucking you up for leaving our kids. <laughs> I thought you were saying under your breath, shit. <laughs> but you were saying, shit, I love this song. Is that what you were saying? Oh, fuck, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm the aunt of that girl you left. <laughs> people. <laughs> Sorry, honey. I changed my color for you. I shed my coat with caution. I like the beauty that you display. See, here they are, the bruises. And some were self-inflicted. Some showed up along the way. So I nod my hand, let it fall the world to see The secret I keep to inside the man you thought of me Slip into coma, calm, coma where I calm myself down Here comes excuses, why I let you down Stand back for another breakdown
Yeah! <laughs>
I swear to God, it's all for you. I said, this is
Because this motherfucker was looking at me like, oh my god, what is this next to me? And I'm like, ha 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 but I remember I was sick and I felt so bad and so sick. And my dad, I remember, I, mean, was the most, I had my hands clawing at my knees and my dad came over and put his hand on top of mine. And he looked at me and he said, we're gonna go find you some to see. He said, I love you, son. Go have fun, boo, right? So I'm walking around this fucking campus for like 
50 days, like looking under rocks and where's this higher power? Is there a higher power? Anybody know what a higher power is? Like, what do you charge with a little bit higher power now? You know, everywhere. I don't you know. 14 year old motherfuckers coming in there going, I found my higher power. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I'm like, you room with me, you sit when you pee, motherfucker. I'm like fucking busy doing dick art and shit, you know? And they're like, you can't do dick art here, it's rehab, that is sexually offensive. I'm like, ah. <laughs> get your priorities straight, that's the fucking, that's American flag. Did you see it? The fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck? Anyway, I looked everywhere for this higher power, but I'll always remember this because after 60 days, they moved me to this um, this place called a halfway house, you know, a uh, sober living house where you where you, you basically learn to make your bed again. Uh, they give you 20 bucks a week between 12 guys go to Walmart, budget your shit, make your dinner, pick up after yourself, mow the lawn, all the scary shit, brush your teeth, comb your hair, wash your hair, like fuck, that's a lot of shit that I've got to do. <laughs> that's what they teach you, because you forgot all that active addiction, right? First time I went to a Walmart sober, fucking <laughs> unbelievable, it was amazing. But anyway, I'll get to the point that I'll play you fucking songs. Um, what is this? 70, 72, day 72? I had three days left, and I have to find this higher power. So, I remember waking up at 5 a.m. and getting dressed, and making my bed, and walking downstairs, and all the other guys were still sleeping. I got my marble light, because they were going to take that from me. And, uh, Sky and saying, You're up. Like they say you are. What's, what's, what's the deal with you? Well, when you come into my life, what is there some fucking password? <laughs> some sort of thing that everyone finds you, but what's the deal? If you're real, come into my life right now. You know? And I'm talking to the sky, right? I'm just talking to the sky. I'm hoping nobody wakes up and sees this. And I'm like, if you're real, make that bush catch on fire. Nothing. Bullshit, right? <laughs> if you're real, make that squirrel fucking do a backflip, jump, look at me, and fucking shake its tush at me or something. Just show me something. Nothing. So this is bullshit. I knew it was bullshit, right? And then I said, okay. I'd like a second chance. I cheated. I lied to everyone I know. Stupid. 
He's seen so many of his friends die from that fucking poison, yet he's still dancing around the top of it and trying to get inside that mother.
fake ass throne, licking every single bone on my own. But that won't get me nowhere near the truth, because the only thing I want to be is next to you, my love. You're a shotgun shot in the dark, you're the property mark, the flash of a spark, the golden yellow crown. My daddy told me, son, I was telling the truth. Well, the only thing I want to be is good for you, my love. <laughs> Say where you go, I will follow. Baby, where you go, yeah, I will follow. I will follow you. Because where you go, I'm going to. That's my hurt, and I hold it dear, but I swear to God it's gonna be my ear. I can tell you all the shit I did in my past, but baby girl, there's nothing you're gonna wanna hear. <laughs> well, I release this anger built inside, and now I won't go hide it anymore. My daddy told me, son, always tell the truth. Well, the only thing I want to be is next to you. Baby, where you go, I will follow. Baby, where you go, I will follow. Oh, darling, mine. 
Jesus Christ, they come here and fucking talk or what? Fucking annoying people. Jesus. Pay $40 to get a listen to talk. Can we do it all? <coughs> Yeah, I could use that friend. I didn't try. 
across the wall. You better calm down, Mr. Wrecking Ball. There's a reason I don't have to let you be. Why they never mean what they say? Told me they come back here someday. Like my love was not enough for them to stay. And never any luck when I try. Everyone's so good at goodbyes. It's all I've ever known to walk away. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you to learn how to stand. Love, if you cannot love 
try to do what you have done. Oh, yes, let's talk about the truth. I don't ever want to have to live without you. So when your walls get higher and you have to walk through fire, Try to remember that. No. 